Hi there, Kim Denny, and I'm going to show you today how to complete your cardinal string art kit. So just to give you some basic tips on this. So if you ordered this as a kit, it comes to you with the paint already done, the nails in, and the lettering on. These can also be ordered completed, which means I would string them for you. So if you have no desire to get crafty, I'll take care of that for you. But for those of you who do want to get crafty, here's what we've got. So I sent it to you and I outlined the bird and the branch because those are a little bit hard to navigate, uh, especially the branch when you're just looking at the nails. So they're outlined and ready to go. What you're going to do is start stringing the bird's body first and you have an instruction sheet that gives you the order in which to uh, complete each section so they kind of stack on each other and create a three-dimensional effect. So let me just show you the basic techniques and then you can follow that list on which sections to complete in which order. So to get started, what you're going to do is just tie your string onto any nail using a simple knot. So I just tied it around that nail two times so it hangs on. Then go ahead and trace the outline that I already did for you by going all the way around the bird. Now on some of the nails, you're just gonna be able to go on the outside because it curves and the string will hold on nicely. Then when it curves the other way, you're gonna to have to go on the inside of the nails. So basically, we're just working whatever way works best to get it to hang on the nails as you trace around. Some people like to do what I call loop-de-loop, -loop, which means you just loop around the nail so it hangs on, and then continue your way around. Okay, so now that we have the bird outlined, what we're going to do is pretend that you have a crayon in your hand and you're just scribbling inside the lines. So just go ahead and go in any random direction. You'll make some long lines and you'll make some short lines and you'll go in any direction over the bird. Now, for these nails, that define where the, the wing is and these ones that are going to be where we're going to put the black part of the face, you can just cross over those just like I did there. Pretend like they're not even there. So you'll end up pressing the string down and then you'll build the other colors on top of it. So for right now, you can just cross over it and pretend like it's not even there. So you'll continue to um, do this and just be aware that you're staying within your bird shape. So you don't want to cross over outside of the body because then you're going to have red string down here. So you want to keep it within the lines. And just go ahead and continue filling that until you have a layer done. When I say a layer, it typically means that you hit each nail about one time. And it's okay if you hit some more than once. It's okay if you skip some because you're going to build several layers so you won't be able to see. There's no mistakes. You can't mess this up. You just do it the way that your eye likes it. Once you have a full layer complete, so let's pretend that we've hit each nail once here, we're going to take our fingers and just gently press down the string so it moves down closer to the wood. And that's going to give you room to start building your next layer. So what you'll do then is go ahead and outline the whole bird again like we did before and then do your random fill and do that again and again. Most people like to do about three or four layers of outline random, outline random, outline random until it's as dense as you would like it to be. Once again, no right or wrong way to do it. Some people like it a little less dense and some people like it more dense. So totally up to you. Once you have done, let's say your three or four layers, you're going to create an outline along these outer edge nails. And what you do to do that is you just circle around two nails twice and then circle around the next two nails twice. So you go one, two, and one, two and you just continue your way all the way around the bird that gives it a nice finished edge it'll give it a bold outline and if if it helps make sense to you if you pretend that this is nail a and this is nail b then you're circling around a and b twice then b and c twice then c and d twice and you continue all the way around the red portion of the bird once you finish that you will go ahead and if you if you finish at the same nail where you started, just loop to loop around that nail so it hangs on, cut a nice long tail. That's one of the best tips that I can give you. Leave these tails when you're trying to tie things long because it will make it a lot less frustrating to tie your nails. If you're on the same nail where you started, just tie your ending nail, or excuse me, your ending string to your beginning string. So just tie it twice to make a knot. Um, if you're not at this, at this nail where you started, then just loop to loop around the nail, cut that nice long tail, 
and then tie your string around whatever nail you're on two times so it hangs on. After you complete the red portion of the bird, you're going to have that pushed down some. You're going to complete his black little face area here, and you can check the picture that's included on your instructions so that you can see that. Then you're going to complete the orange beak. You're going to do the gold for the branch, and then the green for each of the three leaves, and that's it. Once you're all done, I like to take a little bit of super glue, or really any kind of craft glue is fine. Put a dot of glue wherever your knots are, let that dry, and then just trim them as close as you can without cutting any important strings. So I hope you enjoyed your project. Please feel free to share a picture of your completed works with us on my Inspired Facebook page. And you can find the page here on the back of your plaque. Uh, you can find more projects on the Facebook page and also more on the Inspired Etsy page. Thanks so much. Have fun. Bye-bye.